uh, I don't think these 138 people are going to raise that big of a stink not getting a 2% CPI inflation uh, rate of adjustment increase. If they do, let them take the brunt of that uh, public reaction. Uh, but I'd rather just have it be postponed uh, into the future. That concludes my remarks. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Do you have any questions? Thank you, Mr. Hill. Thank you. And next we have R.R. R. Anderson. Howdy. Hello. Um, I want to talk about the clear channel um, thingy. Okay. Um, so you're taking down the billboards. That's good. But they asking for digital billboards in return. And I don't know if you've driven I-5 and seen the Emerald Queen Casino thing flashing constantly at those houses on the hillside. But things is a living nightmare. And you're about to give Clear Channel, an inhuman corporation um, domain over the minds of our lower income families. If you notice this, this map, um, these are communities. They aren't just dots on a map. And each one of those is a digital billboard, um, which is a perpetual psychic attack on our citizens. And uh, I wouldn't want to be the council responsible for inflicting this upon our people. And so maybe we should uh, think about doing something different. These guys have had since 2007 to come into compliance with our, um, our ordinance, and they've done nothing until they've dragged it out in the courts. And I don't know, um, it just seems kind of messed up to me. And. Uh, my friend Kevin and I put together a fine counter on feedtacoma.com, which has been ticking away since the, the violations have been started adding up. And it's now well over $25 million. And so that can fill a lot of potholes. And uh, so what are we doing here? Look within your hearts and do the right thing. Don't sell out our hearts and minds of our citizens, so. All right, I had some other notes here. I think that concludes my business here. You use Tagaro? You have two and a half minutes. Okay. <laughs> I'm a cartoonist. <laughs> I'm a... Uh, Please keep it relevant. <laughs> I'm a cartoonist, so it's very, um, I'm very sensitive to the advertising mm -hmm. shenanigans that these guys are up to, so I know it looks good to you, you know, we're getting rid of all the static ones that don't change, that artists can manipulate by hand themselves in exchange for these digital nightmares. And so, I mean, they, there's no, it's not one image, it's a constant barrage hammering these people, broadcasting into their yards, into their lives, and now just think about that. It's a pretty barren, empty map, so it might not look as big of a deal to you guys looking at this handy packet, but these are houses, these are people, these are people working. Um, living where they can afford to live, and I don't see any dots in the north end where the rich people live, so. Thank you, Mr. Anderson, and you'll get an explanation about what the plan is when okay. we get to that item, but thank you All for right. your comments. We appreciate it. <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> right. Anyone else wishing to come forward during public comment, and that is relating to items on tonight's agenda? All right, seeing none, I will declare the public comment period closed. Moving on to the regular agenda. I move to settle the matter of Clear Channel versus City of Tacoma, United States District Court, cause number C075407BHS, pursuant to the terms and conditions and in substantially the same form as the settlement agreement between the City of Tacoma 
and clear channel on file with the city clerk. Second. Hey, a motion has been made and seconded. Are there any council comments? And I'm going to make a few remarks here and I'll start the conversation. So this ordinance was made in 1997. And this proposed settlement is a little different than the settlements we typically have or asked to consider. This settlement does not involve payment to the city, by the city of any sum to Clear Channel. Instead, this settlement resolves Clear Channel's challenge to the enforceability of the city's billboard ordinance and the requirement that all billboards be removed. This litigation has been pending since 2007, but the legal issues and the market influences relating to this specific industry have been brewing and changing for decades. While the settlement represents a compromise, it works to implement the vision that the city has for its neighborhoods and residential areas. A compromise was sought that was, sought that was protect our neighborhoods but respect the fact that they are business districts. I believe that the proposed settlement benefits the city in the following ways. Number one, it provides for removal of billboards in locations chosen by the city of Tacoma. The focus was on those areas where billboard use was incompatible with the surrounding areas, and again, protecting neighborhoods. If the agreement is fully implemented, and it may take in excess of five years, the net removal of billboards will be 85%. Again, 85%. And Clear Channel will forfeit all of the 169 permits it now holds to add new billboards to the city. It also contemplates the replacement of certain billboards with digital billboards, but clearly limits the technology upgrade. So let me explain. The loud, flashing, neon, Vegas-style billboards you see on I-5, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about billboards that, that change panels side to side so it allows the advertiser to use the space better. It adjusts itself for lighting, and it's not intrusive. So it's not going to be the loud, Vegas-style neon flashing that we're talking about when we say digital. It's a new technology that all billboard companies are moving toward. So again, the images don't scroll, they don't flash, they don't have motion pictures, and they provide the potential for public service announcements, including Amber Alerts. These billboards operate much like digital picture frames that people have on their desks. Finally, it allows the city going forward to regulate billboards in a meaningful and deliberate way and put them in places that the city approves of and where they are more appropriate. So again, this is a compromise, but we were being challenged on constitutionality, and this is something that allows us to remove the billboards, and we're putting digital billboards up instead. But again, it's a net 85% reduction in the number of billboards and using new technology. And again, it won't be intrusive. It won't be flashing neon. Any other council comments about this? Okay. So we have before us this settlement. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion is declared adopted.